Hi! According to YouTube statistics, none of the people watching this video are actually subscribed. Please subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. Now, let's get back to the video. For millennia, humans have been looking up to the skies, wondering what is out there in the universe and thinking about the glory of the moon and the stars. During the Cold War between America and the Soviet Union, huge advancements in outer space technology were made, including the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. In 1958, the creation of NASA put America ahead in the space race against the Soviet Union and set a worldwide standard for space exploration. Welcome to the space exploration iceberg. Today I will explain the iceberg made by you slash the dinosaur king 777. So without further ado, let's move on to tier 1. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was a fatal accident to the United States space program that occurred on January 28, 1986, when the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, killing all seven crew members aboard. The crew consisted of five NASA astronauts and two payload specialists. The spacecraft disintegrated over the Atl Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. The disintegration of the vehicle began after a joint in its right solid rocket booster failed, failed the liftoff. The failure was caused by the failure of O-ring seals used in the joint that were not designed to handle the unusually cold conditions that existed at launch. Laika was a Soviet space dog who became one of the first animals in space and the first animal to orbit the Earth. Laika, a stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow, was selected to be the occupant of the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2 that was launched into low orbit on the 3rd of November 1957. The sad part is that the Soviets didn't even plan for her recovery, so she just died of overheating. Sputnik 1 was the first artificial Earth satellite. It was launched into orbit by the USSR on 4th October 1957 as part of the Soviet space program. It orbited for three weeks before its batteries died, and then orbited silently for two months before it fell back into the atmosphere on 4th January 1958. The Voyager Golden Records are two phonograph records that were included aboard both Voyager spacecraft launched in 1977. The records contain sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth and are intended for any intelligent extraterrestrial life form who may find them. The records are a sort of time capsule, although neither Voyager spacecraft is heading towards any particular star, Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years distance of the star Gliese 445 in about 40,000 years. The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster was a fatal incident in the United States space program that occurred on February 1, 2003, when the Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated as it entered the atmosphere, killing all seven crew members. The disaster was the second fatal accident in the Space Shuttle program after the 1986 breakup of Challenger soon after liftoff, which we already talked about in Tier 1. Vladimir Mihalovich Komarov was a Soviet test pilot, aerospace engineer and cosmonaut. In October 1964, he commanded Vostok 1, the first space flight to carry more than one crew member. He became the first Soviet cosmonaut to fly in space twice, when he was selected as the solo pilot of Soyuz 1, its first crew test flight. A parachute failure caused his Soyuz capsule to crash into the ground after re-entry on the 24th of April 1967, making him the first human to die in a spaceflight. Apollo 1 was the first crewed mission of the United States Apollo program, the undertaking to land the first man on the moon. It was planned to launch on February 21st, 1967 as the first low Earth orbital test of the Apollo Command and Service module. The mission never flew, a cabin fire during a launch rehearsal test at Cape Canaveral on January 27 killed all three crew members, command pilot Gus Grissom, senior pilot Ed White and pilot Roger B. Chaffee, and destroyed the command module. The Pioneer plaques are a pair of gold anodized aluminum plaques that were placed on board the 1972 Pioneer 10 and 1973 Pioneer 11 spacecraft, featuring a pictorial message, in case either Pioneer 10 or Pioneer 11 is intercepted by intelligent extraterrestrial life, kind of like Voyager from Tier 1. The solar storm of 2012 was an unusually large and strong coronal mass ejection event that occurred on July 23, 2012. 
It missed the Earth with a margin of approximately 9 days, as the equator of the Sun rotates around its own axis with a period of about 25 days. The region that produced the outburst was thus not pointed directly towards the Earth at the time. The strength of the eruption was comparable to the 1859 Carrington event that caused damage to electrical equipment worldwide, which at the time consisted mostly of telegraph systems. Yikes! Clyde William Tombo was an American astronomer. He discovered Pluto in 1930, the first object to be discovered in what would later be identified as the Kuiper Belt. At the time of discovery, Pluto was considered a planet but was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Tombo also discovered many asteroids and called for the serious scientific research of UFOs. A small portion of his ashes was placed aboard the New Horizons spacecraft, which flew by Pluto in 2015. Gamma ray bursts are immensely energetic explosions that have been observed in distant galaxies. They are the brightest and most energetic electromagnetic events known to occur in the universe. Bursts can last from 10 milliseconds to several hours. After an initial flash of gamma rays, a longer-lived afterglow is usually emitted at longer wavelengths. If we were to be hit by one of these, let's just say it wouldn't be fun. GNZ 11 is a high redshift galaxy found in the constellation Ursa Major. It's observed as it existed 13.4 billion years ago, just 400 million years after the Big Bang. As a result, its distance is sometimes inappropriately reported at 13.4 billion light years. The Apollo 11 missing tapes were those that were recorded from Apollo 11's slow scan television telecast and its row format on telemetry data tape at the time of the first moon landing in 1969 and subsequently lost. The data tapes were used to record all transmitted data for backup. Soyuz 11 was the only crewed mission to board the world's face space station, Soyuz 1. The crew, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov and Viktor Patsayev arrived at the space station on June 7, 1971 and departed on 29 June 1971. The mission ended in disaster when the crew capsule depressurized during preparations for a re-entry, killing the three-man crew. The three crew members of Soyuz 11 are the only humans to have died in space. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and if you have video suggestions, please leave those in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye.